that's just my ego, perhaps the most empowering words that you can utter to yourself. I post a lot of videos about detuning your ego and allowing more source to be realized within you. And I get a lot of questions about how you go about doing that. The most valuable tool in detuning ego is simply recognizing when it's active, making yourself aware throughout your day when you are operating primarily in ego. When you're judging, and by judging I don't mean discerning preferences, I mean labeling things as should or should not be. Or when you're fearing or needing to be right, or needing to criticize or ridicule, or have your beliefs validated by others, all of this is ego. And you can catch yourself in these vibrations and say to yourself, or at least think to yourself, ah, that's just my ego. The more you practice this, the more you will catch how often you are actually operating in ego as opposed to appreciation of all things, which is the source vibration that also exists within you. And the source vibration is the most powerful creative force in the universe. And while both ego and source are always present within you, there is usually one that is more active than the other. In fact, they're rarely in balance. And when one recedes, the other is allowed to move forward naturally. You see, humanity has created a matrix of collective ego consciousness, where we have allowed ego to become our primary operating system. Things like judgmental religions, materialism, and even atheism are all products of ego. And they all have their place in our world. But when you detune your ego and allow more source, life becomes magical, joyful, and abundant. Because abundance is our natural state of being. If humanity has the power to create it, and you have the power to dream about it, then you also have the ability to experience it. And the detuning of our ego is as simple as recognizing when we're operating in it and appreciating it in the moment. Smile and say, that's just my ego. Powerful and transformative words. I call this a catch. When you're wanting to change a long established behavior that is no longer serving your desires, if it ever did. And when you note that in this moment, that's a catch. A catch can be something like realizing I'm being lazy or stubborn or self-destructive right now. And I don't have to be. That's just my ego. So try this new tool out. The next time you catch yourself doing one of these things, thinking or behaving in such a way that is inconsistent with your desires, stop and realize that it's likely just your ego.